Are you a real estate investor looking to sharpen your skills or a newbie looking to become one? You're in the right place. Welcome to Where Should I Invest? Real Estate Investing in Canada with your host, Sarah Larvey. And I think that's the magic word, right? Short term, like we don't want to be holding on to this kind of money for five plus years because it gets very, very expensive really fast. So just to reiterate, these are bird deals. These are flip deals. These are short term bridge opportunities, something when you're in and out in what, less than a year? Yeah. Yeah. The bulk of uh, the bulk of the stuff we do right now is paying out on average five months. But um, really, the idea is have a plan, execute that plan and pay out within a year time. Awesome. And I, I want to thank you because like a couple months ago, there was a deal for one of my real estate investor students in my class and the lender had backed out, not you guys, they had backed out like the last minute and this deal was closing in two days. And you guys were the first people I can think of because you are quick <laughs> and efficient and, uh, and you got the deal closed, uh, you know, in the 24th hour. So, you know, definitely I would just say there's, you know, again, different types of deals, but if you're doing a bird deal or you're doing a flip deal, um, you know, and, uh, and there's, even if there isn't any circumstances, I think you guys are a great, great opportunity, but uh, you know, in the situation you came to the table. So I want to say, you know, thank you. They're going to have a, a great time, you know, doing the renovations and all that good stuff on that deal. It's going to be an amazing deal when it's done, but luckily it closed on time because of you guys. Yeah, that's great to hear. And, and thank you, of course, for that referral. Our, one of our big things, like you said, is, is to provide that effortless experience. Um, Often times dealing with mortgages is very, due diligence and paperwork intensive. Um, we like to, we, we house that expertise and because we have so much expertise, we can, we can, we can make the process move very smoothly um, and fund very quickly. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Amazing. So I, you know, I want to talk to you about, you know, what mix are and, and all that good stuff. And, uh, you know, we'll have to come bring you back over and over. Cause we were just talking before this show about how there's so many different shows and different, different, uh, areas that we can go into. Um, and so we're going to talk about mix today. Well, what is, what is a mic? Yeah, sure. So a mic is a mortgage investment corporation under the income tax act. And what it is essentially is a corporation that lends mortgages. So we are, we are regulated and obligated to be lending our money out in mortgages. Um, under RITMIC rules, 50% of those mortgages have to be residential housing. Um, uh, the mortgages have to be in Canada. So it's essentially uh, a pool of funds that lends its money out in mortgages. The MIC itself uh, it does not get taxed. So it's essentially a flow through. The returns that the shareholders receive are interest income and the shareholders get taxed as interest income. So the distinction of a MIC is it must be, um, it must be registered as such and must adhere to MIC rules outlined uh, within the Income Tax Act and, and all of its distributions income gets pushed out as interest income to shareholders. So from a high level, that is essentially what a MIC is. Okay. So, which is in your name, right? Calvert Home Mortgage Investment Corporation. Yeah. We make it easy for our, for our <laughs> borrowers and shareholders to understand who we are. Nice. So, so you, you've got essentially investors coming in, lending their money through this MIC, and then you've got borrowers. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. Our, our product is capital. Our supply chain is money. So we have shareholders who make up our portfolio. Currently, um, our portfolio is at $300 million. Um, of that, uh, essentially 170 of it is investors, shareholders. We are also blessed to have really good banking relationships in which we have $130 million of bank debt um, that we borrow at prime plus one-ish and, and get to leverage up the returns to our shareholders. So. Um, the shareholder group simply comes to Calvert uh, looking to participate in the fund. They would buy shares in our fund. Um, the share price is essentially our net asset value. Our sh the share price is net asset value. And net asset value is basically um, all of the money we have lent out divided by the number of shares. So the share price doesn't move. The way our investors make money is through our annual returns. 
Amazing. So you, you invest uh, in, in properties essentially with that money in Ontario and in Alberta uh, for now, for now with expansion opportunities. Yeah, correct. Right now, our lending focus is to lend short term, predominantly to real estate investors in major urban centers throughout Ontario and Alberta. We define major urban centers as places with 50,000 people or more. Um, the larger the center, the more to the outskirts will go. But we really have a focus on lending in um, those major urban centers. And, and I know, Sarah, you being a, a cottage investor, you're, you're always challenging me to further my horizons. <laughs> um, but the reason that we do that is that in major urban centers, you always have a big pool of buyers. You always have a lot of transactions. And by having a lot of transactions, there's a high reliability on prices. Um, so we are always managing to the downside of risk um, because our goal is to firstly preserve capital and secondly provide um, a, a, a good return for the risks we're taking. So for that reason, we're focused at the moment on major urban centers throughout Ontario and Alberta. Of course, when we have um, uh, sophisticated, astute borrowers like yourself, uh, investors like yourself asking us to expand our horizons, we're going to listen. Okay. All right. Awesome. I'm excited about that conversation and the lunch that we're going to be doing the next <laughs> week. <laughs> um, okay. So I, I want to go back because you mentioned 300 million plus you've got bank money uh, at, at Prime Plus One. Um, that's, that's a lot of money, right? And so I, I want to go back because I think a lot of people sometimes say, oh, I don't have the cash. I don't have the money. I can't do this deal. But clearly, I mean, like they make a phone call to you, provided the deal is right and the investor is right, there's money out there. Yeah. Um, from our due diligence standpoint, it's, it's primarily on, um, is the investor going to be successful in this endeavor? And we have 40 years experience looking at this, lending out uh, over a billion dollars in, in almost 10,000 mortgages now. So we look at what, is their, what are their margins? Do they have the financial ability? Um, and, and a lot of times we'll lend to relatively high uh, amounts on purchase price. Uh, do they have um, the plan and ability to execute? And if the answers are yes, we're going to participate. So we've really reduced the barrier of capital as, as much as we can within our risk parameters and mm -hmm. have enabled uh, borrowers to get in with relatively low money down and, and low cost in. Yeah. So let, can, can you give us an example? Like I know you have different, different programs, different options, but like what is one that you would be known for? Well, our, our, most, uh, our most popular in Ontario is the $20,000 down program um, where we will lend on a flip or burr, uh, provided again, it fits within our geography. The plan is right. The borrower is going to be successful with as little as $20,000 down up to a purchase price of $800,000. Um, that may seem uh, aggressive to some listeners, although again, um, we're, we're, we're ensuring that the borrower is going to be successful. We're using all of our historical information, data, and expertise to analyze that. And on a historical basis, lending to these real estate investors has been our lowest loan loss product and our most profitable. So we're very comfortable doing it. Um, and usually these people when they're buying, they're buying at a discounted price. So they're already baking in profit for themselves. And in turn, they're de-risking us because we may be lending at, let's say the purchase price is 500 grand. Uh, the actual value um, as is might be 550 and the value when complete might be 700. So our most popular program is that low down payment. And in Ontario, it's 20 grand. We probably have a lot of listeners that are looking at Alberta because Alberta all of a sudden, is uh, the bell of the ball. Although being from Alberta, I'll warn you, things turn quickly here. But um, in Alberta, we do it with 10 grand down. And the reason we do it with less down is we just have more experience. And also average purchase prices in Alberta are less. Interesting. So somebody from Ontario or from BC could buy in Alberta with 10 grand. 
Absolutely. Plus, plus closing costs, land transfer. I mean, there's obviously other things or is that included in what you're covering? Uh, they, no, they, they, we give them 10 grand. They have to put in 10 grand on purchase. They're, by the way, there's no land transfer in Alberta, but, um, <laughs> but uh, they have to come up. They have to show us that they have the money to renovate, that they have the capital to uh, facilitate the closing costs, that kind of stuff. So we don't give them that money. Thanks so much for listening to Where Should I Invest with your host, Sarah Larby. Make sure to listen in next time. We'll catch you on the next episode of Where Should I Invest.